Welcome back to S. Wiggins TV. You already know, it's your boy, Worldwide Wiggins. And I'm back with the legend himself, man, Boo Manson. Unfortunately, we had to take the last one down, man. But this one right here is going to be just as fire, if not more fire. The internet is going to be on fire after this one, man. He got some stories, some real history for y'all, man. Please welcome the legend, Boo Manson from Narfo Hoover. How you feeling? I'm blessed, bro. I'm blessed. Okay, now I hear um, a lot of stories on the internet about the youngsters who the paid in Los Angeles County Jail. But anybody that's a real banger, the fades started waiting for the county jail. That started with the juvenile hall system. So I'm going to break down a little bit of history about all the fades I read from juvenile hall all the way up to the county jail. Why the state penitentiary? Okay. All right. Um, I first started banging. In 1987. But before I was from Hoover, shit, the Hoover jumped on me like three times before I was from the set. You know what I'm saying? That's what made me turn and become a Hoover. And it, it you know, for Hoover, you tell me not for Hoover in 1987. When I first went to Juvenile Hall in 1988, that was summer 1988, I did like on um, summer of 1988 in, um, the Lost of Dreamers. I was on TU. And then I went home because I didn't have a bag for the record. But when I went home, I got caught with a strap, a 38. And um, I wound up going back to Juvenile Hall for um, a strap case. And I had another dope case that I called that summer that I was also released from. That was in 1988. They refiled it when I came back for a strap case. So I wound up being on um, in the um, note. In 1989. So when I was in, in, no, in 1989, right? right. Now, for who were worse than me, is 87 substantials. I came back to school and they told me that um, it was a dude named uh, Lil Rags, now from 87 substantials. Came to me. The second he left the south, um, we came out of the school area. He sat down next to me. I said, Come, what's up? Come, where you from? Because 87 substantials. I said, What, what they call it? Cuz said, cuz they was on, on Bay Crack time. And I'm like, what's up, cuz? I said, I'm boot, cuz, nah, for who? Me and cuz square off to get out. But the scrap, I mean, the, the staff, they locked us down and sent us cuz to sales. So after that, uh, they went in showers. When they were in showers, yeah. When they were in showers, uh, I went to shower first. When I went to shower, um, boom, I showered in the back. They locked my door. And, um, then they racked his door to come out the shower. This is the first thing on the unit. When they go uh, rack him back out to come back, I took the staff that on uh, I got in this restroom. So I was able to catch him before he got back to lock my cell before he came back. When cut passed by, I just said, cut just my head back. I bust out to see how I was You know what I'm saying? So that was my first day in Los Virginia's Juvenile Hall. <laughs> that was in on the 1989. After I got released the first time in 1988, that's when I came back. So I rushed to us. I rushed to us all the way to the back of the hallway. They sent me to the hall. And then after that, they wound up sending me to home um, when I got convicted for the case. They sent me um, to Camp Cleopatra. I paid for the football team, the Camp Cleopatra Mustangs. That was an old jailhouse football team that played against um, different private owned um, schools. And they made a move, y'all, but that creek can't flip back to Mustang. And I got into it with a fight, one of my teammates from uh, Rolling Twins um, Crips out of Long Beach. Me and Cuz, we got out. His name was B-Lo from Rolling Twins. I did all together 10 months in Camp Cliff Patrick. I get out of Camp Cliff Patrick. I only stayed out of Camp Cliff Patrick for like, what, two and a half months? And went right back to Camp Cliff Patrick. For Carl Jack uh, Robbie, we got some dudes at um, a week, Jamaican weed spot. And uh, uh, boom, I had a suit chase, yeah. The boys chased me in a suit chase because I had a female stayed in HR Dance the hood. We was going to HR Dance in the car from the dudes we had robbed. The police was saying, the police, the dude was like, I'm like, damn, why does Carl keep following us? But it didn't say shit. You know what I'm saying? She didn't do nothing. It was an undercover car. Uh, then once they, I told Simonis, we seen there was two 
white men to be honest. You can see how she ran the gas. They chased us all the way down there just here on the floor. We were told how to be chased. I had my foot punched all the way to the floor. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Boom, when they got me, the police beat me up. They beat the shit out of my head. They kicked dogs on me, everything. <laughs> so I wanted to go back here. I wanted to go back to the LP when they called me. And so they sent me, uh, me the CD. And when we got the CD, I was on the CD, right? And oh, uh, shit, a Mexican cub got smoked with me, cub. And I told the homie cub, they made cubs. In the kitchen, it was little baby in the kitchen, eight seven six the crib. I told Cub, I said, "Come with something nice, and Cub." He said, "I got to do." And she, he's like, "Come with something. What they going to do?" So when they called on um, programs at night, they called five minutes before um, lockdown time. She said, "I'm going to kiss real quick." I came back, right? I took off from the mess. Boop, 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 boop. In the day room, all the messes jumped up. Me. That boy was Santa Fe Mafia, Lou Day Day, May 7th Kitchen Club. We were, we fought every blood, I mean, not every blood, every uh, Serango that was in the union. All the Crips ran off the day room. What the hell is off the day room for? What? You know what I mean? yeah, they ran off the day every Crip shit. Ran off the day room and left me to look at the kitchen in a bad boy Santa Fe Mafia uh, fight in the day room. We took off. We rushed up every all. So the police came in. We were staffed to hit. Police, the uh, oldest your house were, you feel me? We get to hit. But back in the juvenile system, they called the staff. They pushed all us out the door, laid us down the ground with the feet in that beat, the kitty and the grass. They took uh, us to the hole. When they took us to the hole, I was in the hole for like six, like three days. Then they sent me to the and then we need to get up. They tried me as a goat. So they transferred me to the juvenile hall. This is 1989. I just transferred to juvenile hall. No, not 1990. 1990. I just transferred to the juvenile hall. Me and juvenile hall, 1990. One of my fathers, who came to the juvenile hall, they didn't have no more rooms open, so they had a day room all sleep. And um, I was in a day room. You know how you get to a mat every night to lay down on the floor in the day room when all the sick rooms is crowded? So what happened was um, we picked up um, the little matches. I guess one of the dudes in the 40s, he had um, a marker. And on the, on the mattresses, it had five of six feet whacked out on the mattresses. And the other mattresses had five of them. And the five of them were like, who would have ass? And so I, I told Cuz, I'm going to get Cuz, because the homie, the five dudes had a cast in the head because he shot the dude from the far away in the OP. So he had a cast in the head. Yeah, the five dudes Uber in the 40s were worse than this. So um, they whacked everybody out the church service on Sunday. So I told the dudes in the East Coast, tell them this Cuz from the 40s, from the North and they was Godfather from the 40s. Meet me on um, in the cell. I told cell number 16. Meet me inside cell. They sent cuz down there. When cuz came in, I knocked cuz up. Mm. I just cuz off. I knocked cuz too far. When I knocked his tooth out, he was like, um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I like to get the fucking hold down, nigga. I just went on cuz. Oh, 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 oh. The blood all over the floor. The blood all over the bed. So when he, he grabbed, um, I guess where room that was, that was squabbling in, oh, he grabbed the towel and ran out the, ran down the hallway with the towel in his mouth. All these ghosts got laughing at him. But in, in um, LP, I'm mean, not LP, but um, Sixth Group in our hall, they had um, two sides. They had the east side and the F side. We was on the F side. So um, the Godfather of the 40s, who two got knocked out, they transferred him to King Hill, be the King Hill. They would call that back here, tell us who they transferred over to him over there. So I was still going to court to be a trial as an adult. And um, boom, it was all quick, so I thought there was no dime move. They said two dime moves to our side, one from um, Lewis Park and one of the Sunday. I don't know which Sunday it was, 
homosexual them. They sent him to the youth. You know, whatever son he was, I was 16 years old at that time, so he had to be between the age of 16 and 17 years old. I told him, Jacob Pong, what's going to be in the neighborhood? He was the laundry boy. I told Jacob Pong, I said, um, what's up? They said, two down moves over here. I said, because I was a nigga from um, Lewis Fork, you get things for sex with him. The reason I choose nigga Lewis Fork, because I was stupid, I was stocky, because I had just got out of juvenile camp. So I like, I get the big nigga, you get the small. He all right. So boom, I watched you do the Lewis Fork. I took off, boop, back, 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 boop, it was blood all over my shirt. You know what I'm saying? Wow. I didn't have not one scratch on my face after the fight. But um, when me and Cover locked up, after me and Cover locked up, Jacob Pone from West Virginia neighborhood, he took off from the dude, Sonny, for 63. When he took off the dude, Sonny, 63, he took off second rushing, a dude, five to have line. He jumped in, both going back. And then 63, he was yelling, oh, 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 man, oh, child, oh, oh. The staff that's the staff in my other on the little station they got right there in the middle. Between you the B side and on uh, the F side. That's the staff in my When they broke the fight up, the dude from um Sonny with six dudes brim, he yelled out, F these F these crabs burn. Because when he said that, that's when our local up for eight nine these scopes. He rushed to a boom back, boom back, boom. You feel me? And other dudes not. So the staff, they busted all that up. They sent all us to the home in Sister Juvenile Hall. Remember, the hole in Sister Juvenile Hall is behind a wall next to um, the basketball courts in the school area. They sent us behind the wall. They came to all us. They told us that they was pressing charges against us from the jumping on down moon. Oh. So, damn, huh? yeah, they were pressing charges. I was already being charged with a dope, bro. You know what I'm saying? I was going from just juvenile hall to the L.A. County Jail in the morning for court and transferred to Compton Courthouse when I was 16 years old at juvenile hall. Yeah, so they tried to kick my ass. You couldn't want to do case. They tried to eat all of us. So that wound up being dismissed because the Don Moose didn't want to press charges. So from there... Uh, I wanted to take a plea bargain for um, five years. But remember, if you charge the dope, I wouldn't uh, eat number in Hawaii. I mean, uh, yeah, I wouldn't eat number. No, no, no. I wouldn't uh, Hawaii number. I went to the penal first from straight from uh, Sister Juvenile Hall when I was 16 years old. They sent me straight from Sister Juvenile Hall to um, the state of Sister Juvenile Hall, you know, December 1990. That's when they gave me the number. That's what he came from. My number was 862505. I was 16 years old. My G, my OG homies in me on the yard. I can't what the hell you doing here. He was young, so you were 16 years old. I like, God, I got charged to go. So I stayed summer, summer 1990 in um, Chino State Prison. I was on Madrone. And then um, they transferred me to Y. When I got to Y, that's all CC. They sent uh, me to uh, Drake. And then when I was at Drake, they transferred me. I was at Drake for like uh, three months. They sent me to YTS. And my roommate at YTS was uh, a little crazy man from uh, uh, Long Beach and St. Crip. He tattooed the nine pole on my back on. And then from there, they drafted me to go fire camp. I got to fire camp. When I got to fire camp, I was up there for he man from San Diego Forties. He man from San Diego Forties. He got down, had a squad with um a dude from uh, what's that Lincoln Park out of uh San Diego because he man San Diego Forties. Uh, Lincoln Park says one of the worst cities. They got down. The dude from Lincoln Park knocked him out in the lines room. But I was out on fire crew in fire camp. So when we got back, we went on the patio. Back then, they used to let the, um, uh, everybody come smoke in the smoke area. That's a lot of smoking uh, in um, Y back then. They used to smoke cigarettes. So we faked it off. We told two, two Crips 
to rap. Like if battle and rapping against each other on the patio area, we smoke cigarettes at. We fake the crip me. Well, all the crips fake the crip me. And the staff came out of the scene, what was going on. But the crip meeting was happening. We told him to rap, throw it off in the police. The police seen him was rapping. And he left. We was talking, actually, he man for San Diego 40s. What you want to do, cuz? You know what I'm saying? Right. About the situation happened. Because when he got knocked out, his head hit the ground in, um, inside the laundry room. He said it's floor, so it was a big gash in his head. It was all the way down to a skull. You can see a skull through the gash. But he put uh, oh. a black bean, yeah, a black bean to cover it over his head. So we had him show all the crips uh, the gash in his head. It was all the way to the bone, bro. We can see the pink meat uh, through the skin over his skull, all the way to the skull. The skull was white. We was like, what you want to do? We said, because we're going to take off because on the down move. You feel me? At count time, because it was nighttime. We said, because second they do count, we're going to take off. Everybody agreed? They said, yeah, the same bullshit. Because we went back in, they had everybody sit on their beds because the dormitories and fire camp. This is 1991. I was in my booty on fire camp. And they said, um, they did count time. So everybody locked it down for count time. So we locked in. Everybody sit on the edge of their bone. For the last count at night. So we had plans and told um, he and San Diego Forties to take off because it was one of the niggas, not the nigga who knocked him out, but when it's only to his set, that was on like a bunk, like two bunks in form. We said, take off. When you take off, we're going to take off. Bro, he took off on the dude, the Domino dude, he took off on the back, boop, back, boop, back, boom. I looked up, man, of the Crips jumped up on this one, bro. Whoa. Then you jump up. I yeah, I jumped up and ran over there. It was on the whole other side. I ran over there to his side. I took off. Boom, back, boom. Me and Cuff didn't do that. The dude took off the bro. He ran to the control center. He rushed him to the control center. Ran after him. And then he dropped in front of the control center with beating his ass. The control center broke it like a basketball game. I put basketball game. Boom, 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 they was making us up with a mate. Stop, stop, break it up, break it up, break it up. We were still taking off. At this time, I was 17 years old. Because that's when I was 17. So they um, rolled me and him and said, he killed boys up and sent us to Mariposa County Jail up north because the fire camp was up north. But when they got to, oh, we got to Mariposa County Jail, they didn't have no juvenile module. He was 18 and I was 17. They were able to hold him. But they couldn't hold me. So um, they had to transfer me to Preston. So I got to Preston in 1991. When I got to Preston, hold on, let me get some real quick. When I got to Preston, boom, I hit the line. Uh, they had me hold for like seven days. And then after that, they took uh, me to the main line. When I got to the main line, <laughs> It was a little melee happening in the school area. It was a dude named uh, Doke from Hunter Street. Remember, they got the four on fives out the Bay Area. Back yeah. then, they was claiming you beat me, not at Blood Bay Nation. But the four on fives come out of like Frisco, um, Oakland, the whole Bay Area. They were linked up to that move. So the, the dude, um, Doke, when he had the melee with the blood inside the school area, Dopey from Hunter Street tried to take off and dope in on uh, the homie Blue from um, Long Beach Club on the tree. When he th- tried to dope in the homie Blue, he dug down. The police broke everything up, but I had just came out of my classroom and I seen it with the lady Chris, the bloods, and the, uh, the four and fives bearing out on the ground. But the dude Dopey, whom I had the Hunter Street from San Francisco, from one five, he was on my unit. So I got back to the unit, they took all into the hole. I told the Crips, I said, Cub, when Cub get back to the unit, I'm rushing Cubs. Second, he came back in the hole, then I took off for a spook back, spook back, me and Cub, Cub, big nigga, I was a big nigga. We slammed the Cub, spook back, spook back, spook back. You see, I, I reached down, I grabbed his feet, made his feet at the same time, and pulled his money, and laid his ass out flat, Cub on the ground. I jumped on the top, beating his ass, I told Cub out. This is 1991. 
So after this, um, I got into the staff, the police, and the white gang coordinator, he was in my face. I took it there by my face, nigga. He sent me to the whole cut lock up in question. So I did three months in the whole question in 1991. They opened up a new Y in September 1991 called Chad. So they transferred all of us from Chad, who was in question, to, um, to, um, for, for us in Minsky. In person, they transferred all to Chad. And, um, when they transferred us to Chad, because Chad was from 18, to 18 years old, 24, but you now. And they want to be on question because dormitory, but over there was like under 18, like from like under 18 to 16. But I read now I was 17 years old in person because I was tried to dope. So they transferred us to sex. So I got transferred from Preston lockup, three, three months in the whole Preston lockup, to Chad. So when I got to Chad, to Durgy, that's what it's called. We called Chad, um, by Bill Gates. When they transferred me there, they transferred me from one home to that lockup, to the other lockup in Chad. And while I was in Chad, the dude Frank Dog from Oak Park, um, Sacramento Bloods, he ran out the field at night. He stabbed me. He stabbed me two times in the head and uh, once in my earlobe. When he hit my earlobe, the shape broke where the, the, the tip of it was still hanging on my ear. Like uh, uh, uh you know, so I broke that up. It uh. makes that body up. Yeah, bro, I went to hell. You know what I'm saying? So they um uh, they transferred me to the medical and medical. Uh, they pulled it out my ear. They cleaned it everything, and I did three more months in the hole. But his roommate, Bus Stop Hill Woody, his roommate name was Lil Hard Rock from our uh, Old Park Bloods outside New York. So when they transferred me uh, to the regular main population, man, you wouldn't believe. Like about two months later, they transferred his roommate, Lil Hard Rock, the nigga Stabby. They transferred his roommate, Lil Hard Rock, to my unit. When they transferred Lil Hard Rock to my unit, I beat Lil Hard Rock ass. I beat him so bad, I chased him on the whole unit. He's got to run from me. We were squabbling up. I chased after the nigga. You know what I mean? I beat his ass. The stab was younger. Break it up, break it up, break it up. It was mixing us up with the mate. Yeah. But shit, I ain't got mates so many times in you know, I knew how to go around it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I kept blinking my eyes, I kept rushing, blinking my eyes. And so they sent us um, to lock up, and after that, we got off lock up. But now, another time when came to you, you know what I'm saying? You was from the same hood. The dude was from the same hood. He took off from one of my homies. We find out who was, who was in Preston before that, before we got set. He took off to one of my homies, he dope you know, one of my homies, in a child hall. So, in Preston, so when they transferred him, okay, they said, that nigga, I want you to look up. Like, cut the homie, you know? Yeah, I mean, nigga, dope team, the homie, five, nine, who? You know what I'm saying? The second cuz, they whack cuz out. I was a scud. They, they, they whack him out the shower. You know, I was a scud. You know, boop, back, boop, back, boop, back, boop, back, boop, back, boop, boop. And then after that, they sent on, um, what's his name? Um, what's the dude's name? Lil Pila. Lil Pila, the man that's fought. They sent him to the unit. You know what I'm saying? When he sent to the unit, oh, he was using that B word loud. That's why right, blood, boom, talking about that move. Hey, cuz, make up, got him, cuz we slung with Lodge Wound, cuz, make up a slang, boom, blow. For Lodge Wound first, the after the squad lines was hit up, she uh, went out to TV area. Then I went back to, I went, went to my own 740. I was like, because I ain't finished with this. I'm like, get this nigga. The front is after that line to move. You know, the same day. Because I rushed us in on TV. Boom, 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 boom. They did the same thing. They locked me in down. They locked me down for a few days, had us come out and talk. You know what I'm saying? And then they said the dude, um, what's the dude's name? And his name was Elo. And he was from Meadowview Meta Pyru out of um, Sacramento. Why was his name Elo if he was a Dalmu? You know what I'm saying? And back then, we were talking about the conversation about Hoover's having a lot of squabs with Dalmu's while we were in the Hoover Crip. 
You know what I'm saying? Who's back then? This before we were criminal. Right. This was who was coming straight crip. Why before the tour? We were straight with the crip car. You know what I'm saying? Or Chris is fighting down move. Me and Dilo got in the hotel. We squabbed. After we squabbed, cause they sent me back to the cell. My roommate was 74 Hoover. I told my roommate, I said, cuz I'm gonna get that nigga roommate too. His roommate, cuz, name was T. I'm on this point. I was in San Francisco, I'm going to You know what I'm saying? Because it puts a UBD in. You know how to blow up that nigga. The second he brought me back out of jail, I took off on duty. And his roommate, nigga, poop, 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 poop. All together, I did two years and ten months of Y. And then when I come home from Y, you know what I'm saying? I stayed out for nine and a half months. And then me and a dude, I don't know the dude's name for uh, Rolling Twenties. He was out of old twenty blood. I don't know if he was from the west side or what he was the ones on the east side. The outlaws. I don't know who it was. We had a fight over some super shit. We was in a prayer circle. You know, I had prayer circles in Wayside, Media North, in the county jail, in Wayside. Boom. We was inside the prayer circle. Praying for our cases. You were getting prayers of our cases because we go to court because I got caught with a game. So we was playing up our case and shit. You feel me in the prayer circle? Where people were leading the prayer circle, your Bible scriptures and shit pray. The dude got to talk to nigga. I like that. What's up, all the, the boys and shit you doing? You know what I'm saying? And boy, he got to be strong, and I socked his ass. When I hit his ass hard, he got hit his ass hard. He fell all the way over the table. When he fell over the table, I had to run all the way to the other side of the table to get the table. You feel me? Because he just all over the table. And man, his nigga got him. We swabbed it up. You know what I mean? And from there, I wound up getting my time, and I went to um, the, um, I went to Corcoran. When I got to Corcoran, I was up there with my homies in the yard. I'm like, you know, when I got to Corcoran, I was on the 3D yard. This and um, which year was this? When I got to the 3D yard, that was, um, hmm, which year was that? 19... Now you get up in nineteen ninety three when I got three B yards. So then in nineteen ninety four. Because back then I was real slow. I won second place on the um, weightlifting competition on the yard. And the dude that beat me in the weightlifting competition, he was a lifer. He had already been down for like sixteen years. So um damn, I can do play some next. He came to the um the yard. His name was um Lil C now. But he rushed the piece now, shit. He took an overdose of PCP, swallowed the bottle, and he wound up dying. This is after um, we had our faith in the beach. So they sent him to the yard. He was playing basketball on the court. I told one of my chief homies, right? I said, tell him, he was telling me, they said, bitch. That's what my big homies tell him. You know, I'm fresh out of why? Because I'm like, girl, I'm going to get this nigga. I had to go to the gym because he knew I was charged with dope. When I was in on uh, YA, so when I got YA, I was straight to the So I'm uh, bam, I went out work in the kitchen. I come home, I mean, I come home, come back to the unit from the kitchen, and I had seen a cup walk across the dorm. I was in the gym because that's where they had me sleeping in the dormitory, but it's level three yards because of all the sales was built. And they transferred cubs to uh, the dorm that I was in. Because he was about to go home. And on um, shit, I seen cuz. I like cuz. I told him, nah, do you want tell it? Hey, cuz. They come cuz the day boom. The guy set the cup in the day boom. You see that? You make some mention. I rush the police. Cuz came on the day boom. He ain't come out. He's up cuz. Spot up cuz. I am. He can boom, back, boom, back, boom, back, boom. We chunked him good. But after we chunked him that night, you see me? Me and him talk. He offered to the bus spray with me and shit. Because he had canteen and everything, I had canteen too. But I didn't, what the hell I'm saying? Because we just locked up with Migos on the streets, A7 Hitch, and now for Hoover. You know, it was worse than enemies back in the day. But we're not worse than enemies no more because A7 sweeps the main street, and now foes sweep the main streets too. So shit, A7 now foes. That was old. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And then uh, I wanted to catch another case too. In 1996, that was over females and spots and shit. My bra that I was messing with, I was over 10 years, bro. He called the police company. You feel me? I was in San Bernardino. 
So, I didn't send me to county jail, West Valley County Jail, and went to for a month. And my family was on um, low place from um, Lebanon East Coast. And uh, low place, I was on the coast in the bottom bunk, I was on the top bunk. And I asked low place, you can meet your child in the I got the question because about 11 to 4. You follow what I'm saying? It's five slow. Because I jumped off the bunk, because I'm cut. I fired him to a nigga, boop, back, boop, back, boop. He could have fight me back. He was laying in the bed when I fucked him. I was fucking because that's what he was laying in the bed. He walked from off the bed to under the bed. You know what I'm saying? Little mouse in the schoolyard. He came to me to sell door and I said, what's going on? I let him bust that shit. They won't cook him under the bunk, cuz, and get out. You know what I'm saying? I let him tell the cuz, nigga, let's chunk him. I like cuz, nigga, first three soldiers lost their hood, nigga, to TMC. In the 760s, coaches lost their hood, nigga, they are 13. 760s, coaches, I'm telling you, nigga, they ain't got no hood, nigga. Come from the bed, nigga, let's get out. Because when it comes from the bed, nigga, you call me saying? Yeah, so go out and roll it up to the sick girls upstairs. You call me saying? So, like I say, I just break down a few things of my old stories coming up when I was cool, you feel me, see? Coming up because the youngster banging, nigga, my ass today. You know what I'm saying? So, right. like I said, I hear people saying that um, Rock Sage are on the county. In the phase, we're going to wait for the county jail. The phase runs the juvenile system. Hell yeah, bro, for sure. For sure. Much love. Yeah, that's, that's Boo Manson, man. <laughs> You already know, man. Boo, I appreciate you, man. You know, uh, we, we, we going to do something else, too, man. I appreciate this, bro. Much love, man. We out of here. Hell yeah, for sure. Much <laughs> love. 94, sweet hope. What?